My I man's just, got outfit changes. Yeah, for prime. <laughs> You're not ready for this. For prime interview material, I feel like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Same oh, hoodie, same color as your website colors. 100%, I man. You know, I'm really. I see it. I'm, yeah, so thank you for taking notice, man. I'm really. Uh, I did my homework. Trust thanks, me. bro. I'm, I'm excited for this because I know you. I've listened to all your like. I've listened to almost all the other ones you've done and I was like, man, I actually enjoy these. So to be able to Yo. do one myself is cool. But yeah, so I I don't know, something about this color, man. The, um, the type of person I am, I'm really big into um, when seasons are changing. So like mm -hmm. summer into fall and then winter into spring are like my two favorite times. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this color really, you know, yeah. Mm. And for sure, like, I relate to that 100% because vodka blue, that's like my color that I use in everything. I love and it's you. something about having a color to, I think color is the most pure way of describing a feeling to some extent. Being you know, like, this feels like that color. This feels like orange or whatever. Yeah, man, for yeah. sure. For sure, for sure, for, for sure. sure. All right, just, just to start off, because <laughs> I know for Saturday, you had a moment. So how are you doing, fam? Oh, um, you talking about the show? Yes, sir. Dude, it was cool. Um, so it was my second time performing. Like, well, technically it was like my third official performance after releasing music seriously. And, um, but to compare it to the time before, um, it just felt like I felt so much more comfortable. Like I wasn't nervous at all. It was more of an excitement feeling going up onto the stage um mm -hmm. so once I, like we didn't even do a sound check like we had no sound check i put like yeah bro we put the beat we put one track on i did like 15 seconds with the dj and then they're like all right bet and i was like all right well i guess we're just gonna Ooh. make it work and it yeah. worked out dude so um we got there it was the first time i got a green room yeah like yeah they gave me Let's like, go. yeah you know oh what i mean God. So like, cause this was like an actual, so the, the show I did a couple months ago, it was at like a arts council, like an art gallery really. So they just put up uh -huh. speakers in the art gallery or whatever. But this one was like a venue, like, you know who Dennis Quaid is? No, please tell. Oh, dude, have you seen The Parent Trap? Who? Bro, For real? The, have you seen the, pen, t the, the Parent Trap? Yeah. So the dad? The dad from Parent Trap, that's Dennis Quaid. Uh -huh. So he's about to perform at that same place on the 30th. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the same. What? Me and Dennis Quaid. <laughs> what? Yeah, bro. So, but, but yeah, so like it's a, it was an actual venue. I walked in the spot. They were like, hey, um, you're an artist. I was like, yeah, um, well, let me show you to the green room. And I was like, yo, this is tough. He said, he was like, help yourself to anything in here. And I was like, man, I can get used to this. Let's go. Yeah, so now, um, and they had tea. So um, every, so now like moving forward, every um, green room I go into, if they don't got have a writer, it would be a little... I think that's going to oh be my artist God. request to just make sure that there's tea. Put that on the right. Yeah, and make yeah, that the tradition. A lot of people Let's are go. a lot of people are picky. I just think tea is going to be my thing. Oh, my God. But. Real quick. So we have the show last Saturday. Yeah. Now, 30th. Yeah, man. Bad type. Yeah, dude. A bunch of other people. Yeah, man. ATK and friends. ATK What's happening there? friends, man. It's that's a blessing, bro. That is um, same venue different venue actually Ooh. different oh. venue yeah so we're making rounds man we're making rounds um mm -hmm. this one is so i did a show on juneteenth june 19th mm -hmm. of this year and it was with mm -hmm. the arts council in my city and i was they really liked it they um the lady actually paid me wrote me a check after the show which was like unexpected so that was a cool blessing um but I was like, yeah, I just wanted to stay in touch with them. Cause I was like, I know we can do more shows. So long story short, a cut, like last month she hit me. It was like, hey, we have these dates, which one would you like? And I was like, let me do the 30th because we can do a Halloween theme. So um, I figured we're gonna do a show. <clears throat> it's gonna have bad type, like you said, Millen. I'm not sure if you know Millen or not. He's a dog, oh, he's a beast, oh my gosh. Um, mm -hmm. I got a couple of my guys from out here in my city, Studio La Rosa. 
they do clothes mm. their clothes are sick bro um i got an artist who two artists who do like canvases um amani and samad and then i got a couple other people just coming through showing their stuff but what i what like the idea behind it is just where i'm from i'm from like a town called frederick uh frederick maryland um mm -hmm. and there's like a stigma because like oh it's like a small town yeah you know, like no one ever leaves or there's nothing cool going on but like that's so not true because the art that's out here is freaking insane so i'm like bet let's just take this let's take this moment and make it so much bigger than me so that's why i wanted to get a bunch of other people involved just so they can showcase what they have um for sure and i'm excited man sure. freaking mm -hmm. people have costumes so like if you come with a costume <laughs> get a um a free drink at the bar and are, are the performers gonna be like so that's the thing so that's the thing hey. yo i was <laughs> so i was talking to i was talking to bad type and Millen. i was like yo do y'all have black suits because i was like we could just be men in black but I don't know, you know what I mean? I don't know if they are able to get the suits in time or however that works. Yo, um, come on. But me and my other boys, part of like the Who Knew gang, uh, my producer, my uh, engineer, we were talking about mm -hmm. wearing red jumpsuits to dress as mm -hmm. from us. Have you seen us? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like the tethered, you know how they wear those red jumpsuits and they have like the- the, the Damn, y'all got scissors. a theme and everything going. Yeah, Let's man. Go. But we're, so actually tomorrow we're linking up to go mm -hmm. look for them, but- Beautiful. But yeah, Beautiful. so that's the show, man. Next next two weeks from now, I'm all, next mm -hmm. weekend actually. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It's Leading of, into that, cause you sort of answered one of my questions I have for later, but it's fine, we'll, go, we'll cover that also. Yeah. what is don't let anyone take your dreams don't let anyone take your dreams man um it's kind of a double entendre mm -hmm. um but i mean it is a double entendre but that's just what i live by um i remember mm -hmm. one day i was during quarantine i was sitting down and i was just like doodling and i was just like writing things and mm -hmm. i just came up with like well you the people can't see it but I was just I just came up with this line I was like don't let anyone take your dreams and I put the mm -hmm. quotate the parentheses around it so it's mm -hmm. like when you look at it it's you see take your dreams big but like at mm -hmm. the top it's like don't let anyone so it's like you it's mm -hmm. like don't let anyone take your dreams away from you but at the same time it's a responsibility that you have to take your dreams because no one's going to do it for you so it mm -hmm. really just kind of keeps me um it keeps me focused um like because all this stuff that's happening like getting these shows man like a year ago october 25th actually was the day that we released our first ep and mm -hmm. now a year later i'm hosting my own show with people from out of town coming in and like that's a very tangible achievement from music so it wouldn't have happened if I just didn't do it. So like mm -hmm. people say like, man, how do you feel? Or are you excited? I'm like, yeah, I'm freaking excited. But like at the same time, I'm just figuring this stuff out as I go. Mm -hmm. I'm just doing mm -hmm. it. Um, so mm -hmm. that's that's really what don't let anyone take your dreams is. It's something that's bigger than me, but it just started. Mm -hmm. And bigger than you when it, when it comes to that, because, you know, I see it on the website. The website is also sort of like a hub for everything that you're doing yeah music video for montego and yeah. also the shows are lined up there yeah are you trying to have this be a thing where you bring in other people maybe 100%. there's someone beside you 100 mm. percent, bro so like like i had mentioned the type of person i am i know for a fact that there's power in teams and mm. like <laughs> all the stuff that i'm doing although like people just see me like i'm the the forefront of it like I'm the persona mm -hmm. behind it. It's literally so thanks to like other people. Like for the video shoot, my cousin Chauncey Wright, he shot Sounds, that. I was edited. about to ask. He's so like if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have that video. Um, the production, mm -hmm. my boy Outlaw, he is mm -hmm. a goat. All of the music I've done besides that bouquet tape with Turan, he does it all. Mm -hmm. And then my boy James, who does engineering, we've been doing this for like five years now my photographer garrett that's my homeboy we grew up freaking middle school together so it's just like i like when i see someone who 
who like is really good at what they do and they enjoy it mm-hmm. um if i have a platform that i can you know showcase what they do i'm all for that so that's really what we're headed that's where we're headed beautiful yeah man beautiful and i appreciate that so much also coming from the perspective of someone doing the same with vodka blue because i'm doing the exact same thing i'm going like this person i know does graphic design yeah i need to give them a platform where they can put out their shit this person wants to do video shit here come do it for me and all that stuff Mm -hmm. there's something about especially when it's the growing artist category yeah not the established not out there already but the growing artists the doubters the people that question their stuff if you just give the hand and be like ayo come here do this video thing or try it at least because now you have security in me believing in it (laughs) that's such an important thing and for you is this like i'm gonna ask you about your ambitions later on but we can cover it now if you want okay for this and it's also because i saw on your spotify again who knew records yeah yeah. are these things tied together yeah so man you did did your research i love it um yeah so i mean if you want to do a little story time i can give you like how it go really for it really. so yeah like i mentioned before last year um october 25th we released um a project called who knew and actually how it came together was my friend he's not my friend ty i call him ty he goes by outlaw but i call him ty because that's his name um so i met him on january 1st of 2020 through a mutual friend that i went to middle school with on the first day so i'm like hey i haven't seen this kid since uh like sixth seventh grade we saw each other at college we we're like, hey, we should link up. We're both doing music, yada, yada, yada. It was one of those things where people were like, yeah, let's link up and make music. And I was like, yeah, sure. But I was like, I don't really know if I, <laughs> but I was like, you know what? Let me just do it. So I went to his house and he was like, so, hey, I have a friend of mine, Ty, who's coming over. He makes beats too. And I was like, okay, cool. Let's see how it goes. So he walks in, um, he starts playing beats and I'm like, yo, this is pretty cool. He plays one. I'm like, yo, go back to it. And then... <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this is the one loaded up. We have a speaker from another friend of, we have a microphone, I'm sorry, from another friend of ours, loaded up and I just start freestyling. And next, you know, I have a whole verse and that is what is now the second track called Mug on the Who Knew tape. So the first day I met this kid, we made this track. And we were like, yo, this is actually pretty tough. Like, we're pretty good. Like, we should keep doing this. So, so like, through the next few months, um, I remember it was on my birthday, my 25th, my 20th birthday, April 25th. We're on Discord and we're just making a track. And he had never really made, like, boom bap stuff because he was making, like, Pyrex, like, hard, you know, that type of 808s, all that crazy stuff. And we're making this, like boom bap classic hip-hop track and he says he's like damn who knew i could do this and i was like bro that's gonna be the name of this project who knew and because it's like then it it builds so much deeper it's like damn who knew i would meet this kid this way who knew that we would make music like this who knew it's so much bigger and at the same time 2020 was a crazy freaking year so like who knew the pandemic? Who knew freaking Kobe? Who knew Chadwick? Who knew all the shit that was happening? So um, my attitude towards that, I was like, damn, who knew all this shit was going to happen? So either you're going to do what you want to do or you're just going to let stuff happen to you. So we call. So that's like the three of us directly, me, uh, Ty, my engineer, were like who knew records. We call each other like who knew boys. Um, but don't let anyone take your dreams. It's kind of like the bigger picture of Who Knew Rec. Mm-hmm. So well, I guess you could say it's like my personal brand, but it all ties in because if you look mm-hmm. at the bottom, um, it says of the Don't Let Anyone Take Your Dreams site, it says a hashtag Who Knew website. Mm-hmm. So, you know. I see it. I see yeah. it. Yeah. So it kind of all, it does all tie together. Great question. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And... I, I've had Nick on, Nick Soze, 
yeah. and the way I described him was basically in my mind there's some stages that artists go through especially artists that you know we have friends in here in the discord platforms and everything starting off building a tiny community having some traction whatever I feel like you're in the stage right after Nick where it's getting to these more professional standards with the videos with the art with performing and everything yeah. how has that growth been because as you said you started last year and that was just a tape but now you're out here with a video you're setting up with your friends concerts everything um yeah so honestly it seems like it's um let me say it like this if it was going faster i wouldn't be like i wouldn't be scared i wouldn't be against it i think the pace that it's going right now is a very realistic um appropriate pace for mm -hmm. me just growing as an individual and also an artist because mm -hmm. last year was the first time that i released music officially on spotify but i've been doing this for like five years i've been writing since i was 15 so I used to perform in my bathroom. I used to freaking perform at church. I used to do like performances and stuff. So like everything that's happening now is kind of just, it feels appropriate, you know? Like it's not, it doesn't feel like it's too much. Now doing, hosting a show, doing a show, like performing in a show is completely different than like putting on your own show, like being the mm. artist that's booked for it. Like I gotta make mm -hmm. sure that this lights guy comes through. I gotta make sure that all the artists are there on time. You got to set up, make sure the mm -hmm. venue looks. So it's just all those things that you kind of have to mature in the moment and be like, OK, this responsibility is on you now. And I think that's the biggest part of growth that I'm seeing and um, and like learning from. So did that answer your question. Yes. OK, 100%. <laughs> nice, nice. Beautifully. Man. I love it. Sweet. OK, mm -hmm. you answered it earlier, but bad type did have a question for you because he, i forced he did i forced bad type and darius to shoot me some questions no. uh, <laughs> we're gonna talk about three kings later don't worry oh, um okay. but bad types question you answered sort of the negative aspect or not negative but the less advantage aspect of being a maryland artist and being an artist from like a smaller city yeah what are the benefits in your situation what are the benefits oh dude but where do you mm. see where do you see inspiration or maybe because people view it as small town artists small town communities yeah. like does that fuel a fire so 100 percent um yeah like let's put it this way the fact that i have this show coming up is a complete byproduct of it being a small town but it's, it's not like a tiny town, you know, but like it's a it's a pretty close knit circle. So like if you know enough people, it's basically it's just easier to know the people that you need to know. If you go to a big city, you just have to weed through so many other people to meet those guys who are going to give you the opportunities here. I mean, I grew up here, so I've known I'm plugged in through so many different avenues so now that i'm doing music i just had to you know tap in with the artist people tap in with a little bit more people who are doing what i want like what i'm looking to get into and once you show what you that you're actually bringing something to the table they're going to give you an opportunity because so like people want people want to have something to be proud of people want to have something to go do people want to have fun it's just like sometimes it's not always the right it's not being done the right way and i'm not saying i'm doing it the right way but it's i'm going about it in a in a in a way like hey listen we got opportunities here let's make the most of it let's create something so that's definitely a benefit like meeting knowing the right people is a lot easier and then word of mouth travels a lot faster too so i was about to i was about to ask do you see that oh well hey everyone i just did a show and then all of a sudden now you see neighbors or maybe people closer to you at those shows in the future yeah so um that's definitely how it goes like okay so i i go to a like a gym i work out regularly over here and um excuse me one of the ladies who like runs the gym is like a friend of mine's mom 
So she was like, yo, I saw your flyer. Like, I see what you, I'm so proud of you. I'm like, thank you so much. So like the word definitely gets around um, Mm -hmm. as long as you're doing like positively and negatively, people are going to talk. So just give them some of the positive to talk about and they'll talk about it. Mm -hmm. And with who know, uh, who knew, and also the whole don't let anybody take your dreams. Is there at some point, because you said if it, if it went faster, I wouldn't care. Is there at some point going to be like a hometown documentary style thing where you cover it on of course i'm gonna be doing the (laughs) um so here is where uh (laughs) it actually started this was the desk i remember yeah and uh all that uh, for sure let's Um, go let's go yeah man i get blessed with the opportunity to 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 get out of you know where i was raised and go and do great big things i'm most definitely gonna come home and be like this is where it started because i love where i'm where I grew up, like it's not a bad place. Um, it's not far from Baltimore. It's not far from DC. Um, I can get to Philly in a couple hours. If I really want to go take a day trip to New York, I can go get in the whip four hours, boom. I'm now I'm in New York. Like it's a cool spot to be in, not far from a lot of places. Um, and it's kind of tucked, like, so it's not right in the mix, but if I want to get in the mix, I can go. I can go to DC. I can go to Georgetown. I can go, you know. Mm. So for I sure, and shifting from working locally to online with Discord, Oof. as you mentioned before, bad type. That's a Discord person that you know, <laughs> MLN. Fact. So this progression from you going, hey, I have three friends, and we're in someone's bedroom with a giant broken speaker, to then being like now i'm in this giant community of people and oh timber just sent me a beat and bad type wants to do a call and everything like that shift yeah how was that for you dude i just sent so a couple days ago like last week or something i sent malia um a a track and she just hit me back like hey gov what's up what type of vibe and i'm like like stuff like that is just so cool because like i remember when i first got in here last year um there was a bunch of people that like I, I liked like i like i loved your stuff um like when you did the thing the listen i remember bro you did the listening party for keegan mm. and i was like yo i want to do that <laughs> we're gonna do um, now <laughs> yeah so now it's just so cool to see over time and you know obviously like getting into the discord at first i'm gonna be honest at first i was like dang i feel like okay so who do i need to talk to to like get Uh, noticed you know what i mean like honestly that's mm -hmm, how i'm mm -hmm. into it but then i kind of started like i stopped looking at at it that way and i was like wait these are actually real people real artists like real um individuals interested in doing the same thing that i'm doing so i just took time and i joined like i joined the vcs i entered like i was talking to people and i started developing relationships and now those relationships have completely like you know they're leading to now i'm able to facetime bt now i'm able to facetime millen now i can facetime like Malia. i can facetime these people and like talk to them and be like yo how are you doing not just about the music and i think mm-hmm. that honestly man is my biggest like i'm super appreciative of that like mm-hmm. um the day I meet Kenny Beats, I'm blessed to meet Kenny. I promise you, I'm going to be like, bro, I appreciate you so much because what you did introduced me to a hundred of other people. I don't care if I ever work with him directly. Mm-hmm. I just want him to know I'm so thankful of what he's created. For sure. Yeah. So for sure. Cause, uh, a thing I often have to explain to a lot of people is like, we're friends first and then we're amazing musicians after and that's usually how most people end up collabing and working Mm -hmm. and it's it's really it's super oh sorry we gotta go no no go 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 um it's so interesting because like it's hard to explain to people like (laughs) my internet friends like yeah these are my internet friends like i don't want to be the guy who's like yeah my internet friends but like it's great when it goes from being internet friends to real life like we've met in person face to face like Mm -hmm. i went to millen's house and he Mm -hmm. fed me his grandmother's cooking and then we went downstairs and made a song like 
it's those type of moments where you're like, man, I appreciate this. Um, on my birthday this year, I went out to California and, um, I mean, there's people out there in Cali. So Mm -hmm. I was like, it was great to be able to text people and be like, yo, I'm out here. What's up? And then next thing you know, I'm in a studio session, um, at in the mix with four other artists from the discord that are really cool. Yeah, Shane, Kojo, like I'm in there with those guys. And it's kind of weird. I'll I'll walk you through it because I'm like, first of all, I'm pretty sure this was like the first time anybody from the Discord had done a link. It was right at the beginning. It was right. It was the first. Yeah. So I'm just, (laughs) I remember my my brother-in-law drove me there. He dropped me off at this like North Hollywood like i'm trying to figure out where the studio is like it's kind (laughs) of not like in a cut but it's like kind of sketchy not super sketchy but just like where's the door and he's like are you okay like will you be okay i'm like yeah it's my internet friends (laughs) but um i see shane and then we walk in and now boom okay now we're just in a freaking studio session together we're like sitting Mm -hmm. talking whatever and i'm like okay so are we gonna like we're gonna make music like are we gonna we gonna do what we're you know and then everyone's like oh okay let's go like let's let's do it so (laughs) it it was just so crazy to me in the moment be like damn i've never actually met these people but i feel comfortable around them Mm. that is that's another like i like to say tangibles that's another tangible when you can um you build a relationship with someone over you know um the internet But then once you meet in person, it's either it's going to click or you're going to be like, "Ah, I don't think it's it's I don't Mm -hmm. it's not what I thought it was going to be. And Mm -hmm. so far, everyone I've met, it's, you know, exactly how I thought it would be. And then so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm very happy that all those people. I mean, of course, the Kenny Discord was like the start where everyone met. But of course, like we spread out and then some of us meet locally and whatever. But we all carry this energy with yeah. us and this like upfront kindness of like hey i like you eat just for your music it doesn't even yeah. have to be anything else yeah and i respect you for that respect mm-hmm. is such a huge thing in here mm-hmm. and with you especially you're probably the first person who was in the discord but my first experience with you was your music oh. and it was like <laughs> the way that your like talent and just your raw energy just like set a precedent in my head like holy shit who is this kid yeah because it was it was timber i was watching a timber stream i was like bro who is this person because it it was sounding like a mix of like 50 different rappers and your bars were amazing and your energy was so beautiful i was like he was like it's atk i was like huh what is that and then i and then i yeah facts and then i started looking and like sub chat and your name would start popping off and bad type would be talking about she'll be like oh my god this is a person who's like in my head has like mystery behind him because <laughs> i'm like there and then i started listening to your music i was like oh okay this is like a different level of like this isn't someone who just like picked it up recently like this is someone who like effort and work is like showing like when i heard i don't know how to call it three nyc or NYC, w- just nyc nyc mm-hmm. i was like ew like <laughs> I, every day i'm amazed by the people i listen to in here Thank because it's you. like and it's and it's pure love because like there is so much amazing talent in here and i like that no matter what i'm always gonna like end up clicking on some person's name and like go through the entire discography and be like i can't wait to see this on like, no serious it's like, like a festival headliner or whatever shout out kenny shout out kenny um hurry up do the discord festival come on we're waiting hey, yo. <laughs> um <laughs> come on disco tell them like Aris, what are you guys doing we're ready like god ah, we're literally come on bro like come on there's, there's money on the table you can take the money just let us perform <laughs> anyway um but now nah, there's so many great yes so what you said like any given day you can click somebody hear someone new and be like yo who the heck is this i didn't even know this person existed and yeah that is the beauty 
behind um, the community. You did say something about NYC. Yeah, that song is tough. Fun fact, literally, that tape, Bouquet, Taran sent me those three beats. Um, I literally did it all in the span of two days. And NYC came up. I wrote it right after I recorded the second track, Distractions. And then the next morning I woke up, finished the second verse, and then we recorded it the next day. And then it was done. So we finished that whole thing in like four, three days, three, four days. Mm. And I say that because like, um, there's a reason I'm saying that because a lot of people be like, yo, let's work. And I'm like, okay, bet, send me things. And if it's something like the way I go about making music and making tracks like i don't force anything if if you send me something and i like it i'm gonna rap over it and then we'll figure out what we do after it just was divine that he sent me those three beats back to back to back and each one was like hard and they each worked and i was like bet now we have a little ep let's just drop it so i dropped it on my birthday and then went out to california let's go i love that ending you put there um but continuing on with the discord Mm -hmm. three kings Ah. bad type sir darius you yourself um question here from sir darius because again i forced both of them to give a question Uh um he says when are we dropping we have eight songs come on now (laughs) yo that's exactly what he would say bro like honestly bro that is such a him thing to say bro (laughs) Uh, bad types follow-up was um bad types follow-up was um i'm sorry i'm sending stems (laughs) no bro that's (laughs) Yo, that just describes the the energy, the dynamic, like three kings, man. First of all, I respect both of those guys and like irrefutably before I even say anything else, I respect the two of them so much because CJ, I mean, have you heard that man's voice when he raps? Oh my (laughs) gosh. He has like the best rapping voice ever. I'm like, bro, you don't even have to like really say bars, just talk. Nah. But the thing can't, is, he's got bars too. If I can hijack real quick, the yeah. first time I heard his voice, I straight up thought it was someone who had like downloaded downloaded like one of those like acapella packs. Uh, <laughs> uh-huh. I was like, oh, Jesus, who is that? Yeah, like he is a gem waiting to be like, bro, he and he's good his bar he tells stories super well so Mm -hmm. i really appreciate him and then bt i mean that guy's a freaking animal his hooks Mm -hmm. his singing it's just disrespectful so um the three kings thing oh i guess to answer his question when are we dropping bro i'm ready (laughs) like we just gotta freaking like we just have hella demos that's all it is bro oh okay 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 to, to let you know how it all came together um i don't know do you remember the last kbd group project um mm-hmm. i guess we call like class of 2021 or something yeah um they invited me into it um and the way those work is you know you just everyone gets in the server producers will put beats down people will send demos and people will just add verses until we have a song and then mm-hmm. we ended up having like 50 60 songs and then everyone just votes on which ones are gonna make it i was on three of them all of mine got cut one of them was wake up with me bt and cj and we were like nah this is too good we're not gonna just let this flop so then we just kept making more tracks together and then one day i'm listening to the songs i'm like yo this joint's we're about to make a project called three kings and they were both like, yo, that's super hard. So now yeah. we just have the music. And really, all we got to do is just retrack them and then send them out for mixing and mastering and we're ready to go. That's it. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. So, And the thing about that title is, that is the most fitting title for an album ever. Hell yeah. When, because like, I mean, of course, like, there's a ton of amazing rappers and singers but when i literally in my head whenever I, I, anyone asks me like who's who are the rappers in here i go like jackie atk bad type so darius that's it so like 
y'all are always on the top of my mind when I think of rappers and just seeing like yeah, in a project unit, like right unit facts yeah bro it just happened so I'm super thankful for that joint it's we're like in a place where we need to do rollout and we need to like get it bit and like make the but honestly bro motherfuckers are ready for three kings they've heard about it like the people in here know about it and once we drop it the music's good enough that the traction that it's going to gain it'll gain the traction if you know like mm -hmm. i'm not it's more about just getting it out and being like yo this is what we can do Thanks. so and I, I'm here for it. I'm gonna I'm a be the cheerleader fangirl at the side, just yelling at people like, listen, you, it's out. We need that. We, we sure. need that. Yeah. Couple more questions and then cool. we're wrapping up. But, okay. and this is the open question where you can just go off for as long as you want. But yeah, you already have your projects going. You already have your internal collaborations, all that stuff. When it comes to ambitions for all these different projects, you just talk about three kings and how like that stuff is just like a perfect mix of unity between you and a couple of the friends yeah do you see yourself like again you started last year um do you see yourself next year like oh next year now we're flying to la and we're doing this stuff and now we're getting local artists on the tapes and stuff yeah um <clears throat> so to be straightforward and then i guess i can you know um go a little bit deeper after really bro it's all it's just money like it really is just a money thing like um i was talking to um a family member who is a manager for artists and what is she one of the first things she said to me she was like what's your budget and i said hmm i gave her a number and she was like oh, i didn't give her a number she was like so boom like if you have twenty thousand, you have 50,000 like if you got 40,000 we can do this 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 and this and I was like yo I'm not in the position to put 20 30,000 into this right now but it just put it in per perspective for me like okay um this is really a business you have to look at it as a business to do the things you want to do so yeah. um it's really I'm just like in a focused mindset of once the money is there and I've set the money aside to do these things, like, heck yeah. Like, I would have been back in Cali at least two times since April, um, but it's just situations um, over here, like, prevented that. So, um, but yeah, to answer your question, yes. Like, I do see that becoming um, a thing. New York, Cali, um, maybe even Florida. I don't really know. I don't know anybody in Florida like that, <laughs> but yeah mm. for sure last yeah. two questions um this is usually with producers i would do a um i would do like a lightning round of different okay. plugins and different stuff okay. but for artists what i usually say is what's the dream collab the dream collab oh my goodness what a great answer question pharrell for sure pharrell pharrell record what i'm up are you kidding me you trying to get Pharrell solo or do you want, I want Chad Pharrell. to come in? Huh? Do you want to, Pharrell or Neptunes? See, I want, yeah, I want like a, ne I want Neptunes production with like a Pharrell verse. Or even better, like Pharrell, like me and Pharrell harmonizing on the same hook. <laughs> That's what I Put want. Put it out there. Put it out there. I'm telling you, y'all here, it's on the internet. It's now forever. <laughs> it is on the internet forever. The day it happens, we will come back to this video and be <laughs> like, boom, manifestation is real. Pharrell, I'm coming for you. Your skin is blissful. I don't know how you do it. Teach What's me. the routine? What is yeah. the routine? Actually, did, did you see Travis? Did you see Travis straight up was like, okay, so I read on the internet, it's cold mm. water. <laughs> It's cold. No, nah, it is, bro. It is cold water. Have you ever, bro, you do a warm, you do like a warm water to wash and your pores open up, right? To get the soap in there, to get the mush, whatever. And then after you do cold water, so your pores close up to rinse, and then you throw the moisturizer on there. Bro, that, that, I'm going to be honest, besides his plaques and the, that, that year where he had like 20 of the top 100 songs. Yeah. Pharrell's skin is literally the biggest flex ever. Bro, He's like, listen, I <laughs> it is good for him. Like, that's such a flex to be like more known for your literal skin rather than your like 
having what happy was the biggest song in the world and still is i'm happy Jones facts crazy. all right and then ending question this is this one i like because it's a it's a good judgment of the person depending yeah. on their answer right are you proud of how far you've gotten so far yes beautiful perfect <laughs> do you want to know why you can go off because for me to say um it's it's and it's not really a yes or no it's it's more it's it's a yes because um you could always it's really just about like looking half empty half full like am i one year later there's artists who one year later they're now they're si- like we know we literally know someone specifically from the same community who got signed after their first thing um i could look at it and be like man i didn't do that i'm 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 not proud of my work but like no bro everyone's on their same their own journey it's more so um just the people who don't stop like you should be proud of yourself if you're still going if you Thanks. wake up every day and you say i'm still gonna i'm gonna do what it takes i'm gonna do 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 <laughs> do do um one year later bro I'm, I'm doing shows i'm blessed enough to perform like people people will make music their whole life and never get on a stage i've touched a mic three times this year so far about to touch a mic for the fourth time Let's with go. people that i know and love like i love like we honestly bro i'd be telling these guys like bro i love y'all like just so naturally um so yeah i'm incredibly proud of it i've had people who i went to school with who it's so interesting man this like dude this thing it's such a odd thing um i know people i went to high school with like not long ago it's like two years like three years okay and we see each other for the f- first time she's like oh my gosh i'm so proud of you like this uh, you're such an inspiration like you inspire like you inspire me you inspire so many people like you're inspiring all of us and i'm like yo thank you so much she's like i'm like why haven't we talked like why she's like ah, i just feel like you're so busy and i didn't want to like hit you oh, up and think yeah. like i'm hitting you just because you're doing stuff now i'm like yo like this is very beginning stages mm-hmm. of success and like what i'm really about to do so if this is how people are gonna start thinking like i just gotta keep my head down and do what i gotta do Mm -hmm. um Mm -hmm. yesterday i got a call from a guy he's a huge supporter he literally drives lifts around and will um like play the music for people in his lifts which is so cool um and he called me with a girl was in the car and he was like i'm on the phone uh here i got one of your fans here i'm like what and she's like, yeah, this girl. And I'm, so she puts the girl on the phone like, hey, who, how are you doing? Who are you? She's like, my name's Maddie. And I'm like, yo, what's up? Have we met before? And she was like, no, but um, one of my boyfriend plays has played your music for me. And I love it. Like, when's the show? This, that, the third. I'm like, yo, is this is cool. Hey, so it's like crazy. stuff like that. And for, for small little things like that to happen you can't help but like be proud of what you're doing beautiful i love it I love yeah it. all right atk ending statements anything you want to plug anything you want to promo shout out man, scream whatever man just just love yourself first and foremost everybody's trying to figure out what the heck is going on um just you know believe in everything that you do like my biggest thing that's getting me through my biggest plug right now is just do i'm just doing i know exactly what it is i want i know um i know what it takes to get there i don't know exactly how it's gonna happen but i know it will happen as long as i keep doing so like this says don't let anyone take your dreams you have to take your dreams you can't expect anybody to do it for you and don't let someone prevent you from doing that and what i mean by preventing you is like you get someone to talk down on what you're saying like your dream you say i'm gonna do this i'm gonna be this and then don't if somebody is like talking down on you don't listen to them bro that's what it that's someone taking your dreams from you um yeah man plug listen you know bouquet out now uh montego out now that video is crazy we're still 
a lot of this stuff bro, i'm telling you we're still in the very beginning stages because the product is is way higher than the it just takes exposure so yeah that that's that's my plug i gotta get better at doing plugs hey yo the, <laughs> this this platform is where people learn shit first episode yeah. i was like zoo people are gonna learn media training on here because i'm just no gonna hit them with questions and they're gonna no be like oh shit. Everybody, bro, everyone's <laughs> we're all like we're our own little like everyone's got their brand bro like this is pretty tough it's just we're all starting out it's very cool i appreciate you man you're good at this i feel very comfortable doing this with you come on um, now i did i didn't put on this jacket for nothing yeah it is man got dipped out see that joint is hard it's brown you, you know you come on now going. i see you got the purple vibe see that's my vibe in the, the room that hey, color yo. that's my vibe bro so you hey, really, yo, we love it really just set the tone for me and I feel, see i said i had to throw the hoodie on like i really had to get into it um so gotcha. thank you so much for sure i feel like the number one advice is just like figure out a catchphrase and then just be like end it with that Oh, figure out, hey, listen, spooky season. We finna activate. There we go. There we go. We're ending it on that. We're ending it on that. Perfect, bro.